carnivorous plants live on nutrient-poor habitats. To survive such conditions, these plants depend on animal food. To actively catch insects, the Venus flytrap grows its leaf endings into bee-lobed capture organs. Searching for food, insects like flies and ants also visit carnivorous plants. When the insect eventually gets in contact with the touch-sensitive trap surface, the capture organ closes and encages the victim. How the fly trap recognizes animal prey. In order to mimic an insect, scientists displace trigger hairs manually and record electrical events, the so-called action potentials. This finding documents that touch a mechanical stimulus is converted by the trigger hair into an electrical wave. Two action potentials are required to close the trap. The trapped insect struggles to escape the green cage, repetitively touching the trigger hairs. Trains of action potentials excite the fly trap. The panicking insect elicits more than 50 action potentials per hour. These electrical waves are translated into the flooding of the trap. The trap turns into a green stomach. To study the fly trap's response to an increasing number of touch stimuli, capture organs that had been repetitively stimulated were harvested. Following the extraction of the genetic material, the profile of the touch-induced trap genes is analyzed. The molecular analysis shows that from the second action potential on, touch hormones are being activated. Touch hormones induce the production of digestive enzymes. Prey meat disintegrates into its building blocks. Glands on the inner surface of the green stomach absorb the prey-derived nutrients. The Venus flytrap recognizes a prey by the number of contacts with its touch sensors. Mechanical stimuli are converted into action potentials. Two such electrical signals close the trap. From the second action potential on, electrical signals are translated into touch hormone action. From the third stimulus on, digestive enzymes get produced. And with the fifth signal, uptake of nutrients is initiated.